Ms. Dwan Kelsey, and I'm a nurse practitioner with Well Life, a diabetes clinic and educational resource center located in Raleigh, North Carolina. We will be discussing how to lower your blood pressure with medications. We have a lot of medications on the market now to lower blood pressure. Um, it, it, it depends on a lot of other factors that's going on with the patient, what other issues that the patient is having whether the patient has another chronic disease that, that needs managing also, if the patient has a heart problem, um, if the patient is overweight. So all of these go into the decision making as to what medication or what blood pressure medication that that provider will use. Uh, when we start to name blood pressure medicines, they come in a whole different category. When we talk about patients that have high blood pressure and diabetes, one thing that we are really, really concerned about are their kidneys. So we have blood pressure medicines called the ACE inhibitors or ARBs um, that we typically put patients on that have diabetes and high blood pressure because those medications will protect the kidneys because the kidneys are kind of getting um, a double effect when a patient has high blood pressure and diabetes. So you, our main concern is protecting the kidneys. Um, at the same time, we are lowering the blood pressure by the use of these medications. The ARBs are used sometimes because the ACE inhibitors cause an, a side effect like a cough that um, some patients cannot tolerate. And so we switch them to an ARB and um, that will help to reduce the cough, cough, but at the same time, it lowers the blood pressure. We have a calcium channel blocker. We have the diuretics, which side effect is that they, they are urinating more. So we have all types of medications, the high blood pressure medications to lower the blood pressure, but it really depends on that particular patient and that particular patient situation. That was basic information. Make sure to consult with your healthcare provider.